there everyone and today on the bench I'm going to bring you up a very popular dry fly. This is the Royal Wolf. It's the cousin of the Royal Coachman. We started with uh, the uh, duck quill wings. They're beautiful looking flies but not real durable so Lee Wolf put this uh, fly together with uh, the calf body uh, wing and a little more durable tail on it. So let's go with the materials we need to tie the fly. I'm going to be uh, using a traditional dry fly hook size 12. I'm using some, uh, this is some 8 aught brown flax thread. We'll be using, um, for the body, I'll be using some bright green peacock curl. This is dyed green. You can use regular as well. Tailing material, I'm going to use some uh, elk. The wings, we'll be using some calf body hair. It uh, stacks nice and neat. It's a lot better, easier to work with than the calf tail. And uh, then I'll be using some Coachman Brown uh, hackle. And also a little unifloss, just a single strand uh, for the rib section there. And some fine uh, gold wire to use also to strengthen our pattern up a little bit. This this fly here is really durable and uh, catches a lot of fish. You can tie it in different sizes. I've got it in 12s. You go to 14s quite easily with it. And I've seen them tied very small. A little cutthroat pattern or well, rainbows. Just pretty much anything will be on this one. Okay, so let's get in here with the tail. I'm just going to get a few fibers of the uh, the elk. Nice buoyant hair. You can use um, moose body hair on this fly too. Would be right there. I've used that as well. That makes great tailing material. I'm just doing the elk. That's more of the wolf style, which. Lee Wolf created a lot of them really good patterns over the years. This popular now there we were. Tie our tail down. I'll get a lot of a splay on it, so what I'll do if I want to gather it up is just take a soft turn or two to gather it up and then fray out on you. The duckwell wing is a beautiful, uh, well, Coachman's gorgeous fly, but very fragile. Okay, so when I come in here with a calf um, body hair, it's kind of on this hide is not soft, it's like a raw hide, it's really coarse. So I'll just make sure I'll get my, I get a needle in here, just kind of get my hair standing up so I can grab it. And get it cut off close to the hide and work all these little loose fibers out in the bottom. And I've got a pretty good pinch right there. Go to maybe a little bit more. You're tying your own flies, you can kind of adjust it however you like. But it stacks up nice and straight. That calf body hair is much easier to use. Well, you want that as long as the body. Tie that one third back. Trim it off at an angle, get those butts all tied down good. I'll give it some good. Quite a taper there, too. There. Now we'll grab a few turns underneath, kind of get it standing up a little bit. And I got it splayed out. Just grab half. We'll split it. We're going to X that on. Now it's, we're just Xing that on just so we got a nice split on it. 
get my bobble straight around. I've got to go around twice as wide. Pull a little harder than I want. Going to the right tension. Okay, there we go. Okay, then I'll go on the far wing and take a couple turns around the wing, around the base, and then pull it up at a 45. Let's set the wing there. And I'll come to this side. Get two or three turns around the base of the wing again. Set it up. There we go. And then so we got our wings set at a 45. Now those are very visible. Uh, not that difficult to tie in. Duck well, you really got to know your stuff to do that. I've done duck well wings. Can do, can do them, but I'd, I prefer this one too because it just... It'll fish all day long. You never have to worry about losing this one. As long as you don't break it off here in business. It's, it's very, very durable. Come in with my gold wire. Just add some more durability and take about three. I'll grab some longer peacock curl in that right there. Tied in by the tips. I got four strands right there. That'll be all right. This, this size 12 is pretty big fly. Take a couple turns. Tie it off. There's my butt section. I'll just leave the butts of that hanging out the front for now. And then we'll grab some of the floss. Single strands the best. Didn't quite get it all together. I didn't tie it all in at once. There we go. There we'll get our nice little red band in the middle there. The coachman patterns. Get rid of my floss here. There we go. I'll take my thread up. Finish the body. Just come around with the wire. I'm just going to uh, reverse wrap that. Kind of dress fly up makes it a little prettier too. You want to make sure that's tied off good. Wings will come up a little bit when I get my hackle in there. Pull them back, take a few more turns in front if I want to set them up. There we go. Now, let's see, I need some my hackle. I'll go in the front here, get some uh, larger. This is a bad grizzly, the Coachman Brown. I'm going to go dull side forward always on dry flies. Catch that in behind. Take my thread up behind the eye. Just put some thread base down first. A little hair sticking out. I'm going to get a couple turns in behind. Three turns if you like. I dress this fly fairly heavy for bigger water. I, I don't use this for a slick water fly. This is a nice nice rough water fly. You get some ripples, riffles and heavy current. Trout, a lot of trout sit on the seams. This will ride some pretty good water for you. Tie it off and put a little head cement on there and away you go. There it is, Royal Wolf. I'd like to thank uh, Lee Wolf for the uh, Variation of that from the Royal Coachman years ago. It's been around a long time. So that's one that I'd recommend you get, get in your box. Any of you serious uh, trout fishermen will really be happy to have this one. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. We'll catch you again real soon.